Hey, good morning, Daily Planners. This is David Monroe, CCIM, and this is The Daily Planner, and we are now on episode 33. So as you can tell from the introduction of the beginning of this, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but over the last 32 episodes, I've been kind of reading from a script. I would go in every morning before publishing the podcast or even really before recording it, and I would create a script. And once I got the script created, I'd go ahead and create a PDF for that so it was easily readable, put it up on my screen so as I was talking to you, I was reading from the script literally word for word. Every once in a while, I would, I I don't know, I would... uh, kind of veer off a little bit, kind of like you hear Trump do when he's giving a speech, you know, when he's reading from a teleprompter and then when he's uh, talking from the hip. And But it was very, very rare. And I realized that I'm never going to find my voice for you guys to really get any kind of value from reading a script. So I decided to throw the script away and we're just going to talk from the heart. And If I screw up, I screw up, we'll screw up together, but we're going to continue with the same kind of formatting, although without a script, so that we can review our annual, our quarterly, our weekly, and our daily goals every single day, and that won't stop. So every morning, uh, we'll continue to do this, and and we'll just keep going. So as you can tell from this episode, this is going to suck really bad. Please bear with me. Uh, I will find my voice. It may take two or three months, but we'll get there. So do me a favor, leave a comment below and just let me know, yes, you like the new format or no, you don't have to comment anymore than that. Just say, yes, I I like the new format or no, uh, I don't go back to the script. You really suck. (laughs) So we'll we'll, we'll try and make it better. All right. So for yesterday, uh, if you remember, I said I was going to try to contact 25 prospects. Well, actually, I only ended up uh, contacting or attempting to contact 12 of those 25, so just a little less than half. Out of those 25, I actually reached four. I scheduled an appointment and I kept three appointments. If you remember from yesterday, I said I had three appointments on my schedule. I was able to complete all the tasks from the 30-day challenge, and, and I really haven't had a chance because I was reading from a script to really talk to you about what's going on with this 30-day challenge. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time today and and actually discuss a little bit of that. And then I said I was gonna do a Facebook Live and I'll be doggone, (laughs) I did a Facebook Live last night and I gotta tell you, I had a whole lot of fun doing it and it was from that Facebook Live that gave me the idea to throw away the script and just do this from the cuff. I had so much fun doing it. And and I'm already, I can tell you right now, I'm already having fun doing it this way, even though I don't have a script in front of me and have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna say. So for today, those were yesterday's uh, big three. So today's daily big three, well, see, I'm already screwing up. Let's go back. All right, so the 25 prospects, I attempted to contact 12. So out of those 12, I said I actually contacted four. Out of the four contacts that I did reach, it actually spurred into three negotiations for uh, a little over 1,200 total units. Is that right? Uh, Almost 1,300 total units in different areas of the United States. There's one up in the upper Midwest and two uh, portfolios down in the Southeast. So I really, really, really enjoyed those conversations and they spurred into some potential letters of intent. If you don't know what a letter of intent is, uh, a letter of intent is kind of like opening a conversation with the seller without it being too formal. It just gets the conversation going before you have to spend the money on an attorney or uh, get a purchase agreement drawn up. So it really just opens the conversation. Here's my intent to purchase this property. Do you want to talk? And then that's really all it is. And it looks like we're moving towards putting letters of intent in on three different portfolios. So those four conversations spurred quite a bit of activity and I had a great time doing it. Took up a lot of the day, but I didn't mind because I was moving towards completing one of my quarterly goals of uh, 
so I was trying to complete the quarterly goal of doing 15 million in multifamily inventory for this quarter. If even one of those uh, strike, I will more than complete that. So then the next one was to complete the task assigned for the 30 day challenge. So the tasks assigned yesterday were actually uh, on branding or really publishing. And what they really said to do was publish something, whether it was written, whether it was audio, or whether it was video every single day. Well, we're 33, 33 days into the podcast, so I have been publishing daily for 33 days based on a topic that I really enjoy, which is time management or productivity for multifamily investors. And I may not have been too clear on that it was really for multifamily investors or, or even brokers or anybody in the multifamily world. You probably picked up on that because everything I talk about has to do with multifamily. But people that uh, are in other industries that just want to be held accountable can also be part of this. But really, I'm focusing on multifamily folks. So that spurred wanting to do the video. Now, I'm already doing the audio. I could have stopped there and said, okay, the challenge is complete. But I wanted to push myself outside my little world that I live in and challenge myself. Otherwise, why do a 30-day challenge? So that's why I said I'm going to do a Facebook Live every day from now on, just indefinitely. Who, who knows how long it goes? At least for the next 365 days, I want to do it for at least a year. So that has now become a goal, an annual goal to publish 365 days of Facebook Live videos. So last night, I did a Facebook Live and it was a blast. I know I mentioned this already, but I had a great time. It ended up being almost 11 minutes long. I think it may have even been a little over 11 minutes. It's been getting some great feedback from uh, the posts that I've been seeing coming in on it. And I just had a great time. And one person popped in live. I thought that was great. I tried to coerce them into doing a comment, but uh, they didn't bite. Uh, but that's okay. It'll get better, much like this podcast, hopefully will get better. So let's move forward to today's uh, daily big three. So today I'm going to attempt to contact 25 prospects to sell my off-market inventory or to find new opportunities. And so how I'm going to do that is I have a, an email platform that I use. So what I do is I go into my database of prospects. I pull their email and I put it in to this email client. Well, when I do that, I will tag that email client or that prospect in within the email client to then send them emails over the next seven weeks. They'll get one email a week for the next seven weeks. Most of you know that as a drip campaign. Well, in the techno world, we call that, or in the technology world, we call that an autoresponder. So by doing that, I'm building rapport or trying to build trust with those people and every once in a while I'll throw in something to try to get them to use my services whether that's as a broker whether it's finding properties to invest in uh, or uh, some kind of listing service or something like that so when I say or previously in my other 32 uh, posts when I said I would contact them by email and then by phone for follow-up, that's what I meant by email. I take, I pull them from my database, put it into my email client, and then that first email they get is uh, for an acquisition strategy where we're trying to find off-market opportunities, and that's how I've been building my pipeline. So the second thing I want to do today is complete my daily tasks for the 30-day challenge. Well, today, we're actually learning how to build stories into our sales message. And one of the things we talk about is creating an epiphany bridge. And I've already watched the videos before doing the podcast. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this challenge. I'm not only learning about the technical things that I have to do to be able to be more successful in the sales world, but I'm also learning how to be a better salesman and, and not just to make money, but to actually help people. And that's what this whole challenge is all about is 
how do we provide value to our prospects and then who then eventually become our clients? What can we do to over deliver for uh, what we have promised? And, and that's what this is all about. And I, I can't say it enough. I'm loving it. Uh, today is uh, day nine of the challenge. So then the last thing was to move my podcast from my website to a uh, podcast platform called Libsyn. And I went in this morning and I was looking at Libsyn and I signed up and I, I moved one episode over. Some of you may have seen uh, a Facebook or a, a Twitter or a LinkedIn post that uh, I had uploaded episode one to Libsyn to kind of test it. And all of a sudden it, it kind of went crazy and you, you pay for the amount of storage you have on Libsyn. And what I found out was I, I figured I could host my MP3 file, the audio version of this podcast, on my website and then just link it to Libsyn. But that wasn't the case. Libsyn actually wanted you to upload all of the episodes. And the episodes averaged about 10 megabytes. And once you got over 50 megabytes, it started getting really expensive for Libsyn. So when I connected my uh, my uh, my feed on my po- on my website for the podcast, which has 32 episodes, all of a sudden Libsyn started uploading all those audio files, and I quickly started going over 100, 200, 300 megabytes, and and all I could see was dollar signs just going ching 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 as it was doing that. So I immediately deleted them all, and I canceled the Libsyn account. So that daily big three is already struck away. I am not right now until I can learn more about Libsyn, moving my podcast over to Libsyn. We're going to keep it at davidmonroe.ccim.com forward slash category forward slash podcast for right now. All right. So once I do my daily big three, I'll then look at some uh, action steps that I can take to help complete those. I don't really have action steps for the daily big three that I have, so then I'll add some other tasks that I might need to do. So one of the things is I'm trying to become an instructor, a certified instructor for the CCIM Institute. Obviously, everybody here knows that I am a CCIM, thus the name David Monroe, CCIM. If you don't know what CCIM is, I encourage you to go to CCIM.com and take a look at it. It is not just for real estate brokers. You can be an investor. You can be an attorney that deals in real estate, a CPA that deals in real estate, uh, a commercial banker that does commercial real estate loans, an appraiser that does uh, investment appraisals. Any Anybody, as long as they're involved in investment sales transactions, can become a CCIM, and it is the absolute highest designation you get. One of the things that we like to say in the CCIM world is that having your CCIM is really like getting an MBA at Harvard. It is very tough to do, and once you've got it, you feel really proud, and I think everybody understands how proud I am of it. So... Part of becoming an instructor is I've got an interview process I have to go through. Well, I made it through the initial application. I made it through the phone interview. So my next step is I've got to go in front of a panel and present a 10-minute presentation in, uh, in late March in San Antonio at the CCIM midterm governance meetings. So what I did was they'll ask you to choose which of the four core courses that you want to Uh, present from. So I chose 102. It's one of my favorites. 102 is all about market analysis. And so uh, they sent me a link to the online self-paced section of CI 102. Now I took 102 back in 2014 and I passed with flying colors on the test. Well, I've got to take the test again. So they sent me the course so I can go through the course, review it, and then take the test. Now the test Whether I pass or fail has nothing to do, well, it may have a little bit to do, but it's not heavily weighted on their decision to move me forward to step four of becoming an instructor. Yes, it's a very intensive process, but it it will help if I can do really well. And since it is my favorite subject, I think it'll it'll be fine. So in my other tasks, I have to start reviewing CI 102. I've got till February 28th 
to take that test. And then my, uh, my screening is on March 30th. So then I'll look down at my appointments, see what appointments I have. I'll go into my Outlook calendar and see what I've got already scheduled. Uh, anytime I do a schedule, I will uh, send out an invite with whoever I have the appointment with, make sure they accept that invite so that I know it's officially scheduled and on my Outlook calendar. From there, I'll put it on my written calendar in my daily planner or, or in my quarterly planner, but on the daily sheet, today being Tuesday. So I've got two appointments scheduled for day. I've got, today. I've got both of them on the calendar. One of those is the coaching call for the 30-day challenge at noon today. And uh, I gotta be honest, that coaching call has been incredibly helpful for getting through this challenge. And then as I go through the day and I have notes, I'll write notes in my daily planner uh, for whatever I do throughout the day. That helps me be able to track it. And then at the end of the day, I can then take that information and upload it into my CRM so that I can keep track of everything and, and have it available if I ever need to pull it up in the CRM. If I've got somebody that wants a certain criteria for a property, then I can go put that criteria in my CRM and anything that I put in based on that criteria will pop up and I can be really fast at finding that information. So that's my daily big three today. Uh, we've been going now for whoo 16 and a half minutes. I think I'm gonna stop it here uh, Tomorrow we're gonna talk about how I did today and set the daily big three for Wednesday and Look if this was enjoyable if this is providing value and you like this better Go ahead and and like and share my podcast uh, Please go to my Facebook page David Monroe CCIM and like and follow my Facebook page you can go to my YouTube channel at David Monroe 45 and follow my YouTube channel. I will be putting videos up every uh, maybe two, three times a week. Plus, my podcast gets put, put up there as well. So if you want to watch the podcast from there, you can. Or you can go to iTunes or Google Play Music and uh, listen to it from there. That way you can download it on your MP3 player. And while you're exercising or driving, you can listen to it uh, doing that. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I promise we will get better. But once again, I've had a great time just doing this from the cuff, doing it live and, and not from a script. And, and we'll continue to do this. Have a very successful Tuesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.